got a treat for you coming up next. Hey, we're going to talk all about our King Quilter. This is our own brand of long arm quilting machine. And uh, we've had this out for a few years. This is the King Quilter 2. And we're so proud of this machine. We have sold thousands of these machines. They are like, a, you know, I tell everybody they're bulletproof. This thing is awesome. It works great. And uh, we have a treat for you today. We have Carrie Hansen is here. Carrie is going to actually demo, do some demoing on that King Quilter 2. She is an expert on robotics. She's a long arm expert. She has done tons of things. You know, uh, she is a machine quilter in the face of gotcha uh, covered quilting. Carrie began, began quilting over 20 years ago, and uh, she says she was hooked on her first stitch. Over the years, Carrie has worked in featured mag and been featured in magazines. She's traveled all over the country as a national educator, and she is widely sought after uh, to come and teach classes. And we are so fortunate to have Carrie on the show, and she's going to demo that King Quilter too. So, Carrie, welcome to the show. Thank you. There she is. Hey, here I am. Okay. Thanks, Blaine, for that introduction. I appreciate it. And hello, everybody. Thanks for allowing me into your living room or wherever you're watching from today. Um, if you're like me, you'd be watching in the parking lot in your car someplace. Um, anyway, so today we're going to be talking King Quilter 2 Elite, um, which is a fantastic machine. Um, I'm going to give you just some of the, the specs about it, and then we'll go into a little bit of the demo. So um, we've got the base model and the elite model, okay? And the elite model, what you get is you get an upgraded screen size. It goes from like a 4.3, 4.6 to a 7-inch screen, which is really great, so you can see everything really well. Um, it has upgraded lighting. The lighting on this machine is fantastic. Um, one of the hardest things about uh, machine quilting when um, if you're, you know, white on white or black on black or, you know, heaven forbid you have to unpick something, you don't have enough lighting to see what you're doing. This lighting is fantastic. Um, the other upgrade also is the upgraded handles. Um, so these handles here are movable. Um, they go up and down this way and then they go side to side. And the thing that's really nice about that, I'll tell you a story. When I first got my machine, I had my handles and about 30 minutes in after a, you know, I don't know, whatever the dollar amount investment that I made, my hand started cramping so bad. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, I'm not going to be able to do this. So I went back and I bought a different set of handles, which were the precision handles that went this way, solved all of my problems. So the nice thing about this upgraded machine is that you can actually use the handles whichever way you want to use them. So you don't have to worry about buying a second set of handlebars. Um, the other thing too is you get handles in the back. So if you wanted to do pantographs, which is where you lay the design out in the back and use a laser light, or you can use the, um, the boards, I forgot what they're called, um, but that all goes in the back. You've got the, the handles in the back with the controllers and all that in the back. So um, that's what you get with the upgraded king quilter with the base king quilter um, again the bars are stable you don't have the bars in the back um, can you um, upgrade those if you want on the base you can upgrade if you want to on the base model um, and then this screen here in the front is um, a little bit smaller so that's the gist of the machine um, right here you can also see that i've got the pro stitcher tablet attached to this. So if you wanted to upgrade and put the robotics on the, on this machine, that is really easy to do. And then you can see it sits right here on the front, which is really nice. So you can have all your controls right where you are at all times. Um, one of the things that I like about this, well, there's a lot of things I like about the machine, but one of the things I like is that all of your threading components are up here in the front. Um, the a machine that I used to have, all the threading was in the back, so I'd have to walk around the back, get it started to thread, and come back up in the front. Everything now, I don't know if you can see this on the screen, but everything right now is right here in the front. So you thread it, everything done right here, super easy. You don't have to you know, reach across. Um, the tablet screen, screen, am I on the front here with this? Okay, so the tablet screen here gives you your different modes of stitching. You have your manual mode, which is what you think of when you turn, just like your regular sewing machine, if you put your foot on the pedal, the machine just goes. That's what manual mode does with this. If you want it to stop, you have to press the button to stop it. Um, in manual mode, you can also set the speed. So if you just want to zip through something, you can bump that speed way up. If you want it to go a little bit slower because you're trying to be really precise, you can um, move the speed down. And just with the 
click of the buttons like this. With the um, Elite, um, you also have the option to save a couple different um, manual speeds. So if you know when you're doing stippling, you like your speed at 75%, you can save it. If you're doing something else, you like it at 25%, you can save it and you don't have to scroll around for it. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, we have the precision mode, and basically what this means is when you are moving the handles, the machine is stitching. I'll show, I'll, I'm gonna explain it and then I'll go back and show it to make this a little easier on our camera guy here. Um, so when you're moving this, the needle is moving. When you stop, the needle stops, okay? Um, you can also adjust your stitches per inch. Um, I personally like to keep mine around 10, 10 stitches per inch. Um, I make it even smaller, maybe 11 or 12 if I'm doing some really precise curved piecing. Um, but super easy to make your adjustments here and there. Um, and then you have your idle mode. And basically what this means is when you're moving your machine, the needle is moving. And when you stop moving, the needle will continue to jog up and down. And why would you want that? Um, part of it can be personal preference. I like to stitch that way. I find if I'm doing something with points particularly, when I get to the t to let's say a feather, and I'll demo this in a minute, but um, when you get to a point, the needle's gonna continue to move so you don't have any, th any um, pulled stitches. It just it makes for a really nice, um, nice smooth stitch. You wouldn't want to use this when you're doing rulers. If you're doing rulers, you definitely want to be into in precision mode. Something that I also really like is there's a basting feature. Okay, so we're going to pretend that I don't already have this loaded. And normally if I'm loading up a quilt top, what I do is I do a basting stitch across the top. And that tells me where I want to load my quilt top so that it's nice and straight. Okay, so I'm going to show you here, you can set your stitches per inch. So right now it's at two, one stitch every two inches, which is too big of a basting stitch for what I like. So I'm going to bring it down to um, a half, basically four, uh, two stitches per inch. Okay, so every half inch you're going to get a jog and a stitch. So let me show you, and excuse my arms when it gets in the way here of the camera. Um, also, I forgot to tell you, you do have your controls here. You've got your speed up and down here. You've got your needle up and down over here and your start button here. You can also start it over here and you can change your needle position on the, the screen as well. So you can see where this does a really, really nice basting stitch. I'm going to stop it. So this was at, at um, a stitch every half inch. So let's, let's move it to a stitch every inch and go back the other way. So why would you want a basting stitch when you've got your, um, your uh, quilt on a long arm? Because for me, having my quilt on the long arm means I don't have to base the quilt, which is a huge win in my book. But there are definitely are times that you do want to base things down. Um, I like to base down my sides before I stitch to make sure um, that everything is pulled nice and tight and my designs stay where I want them to be. Um, I definitely do a basting stitch across the top to hold everything in place where I want it to be. Um, and then oftentimes, if I'm working on a large quilt and I don't want to do the design that's in the center quite yet, I'll baste around it to hold it tight. Then I can roll my quilt up and I can come back to it later and unroll it. And because it's basted, it'll, it won't, you won't get puckers and that sort of thing. And because it's basted, it's really easy to pick it out. So you just, especially if you do like one inch per, uh, one stitch per inch or something like that. Um, so let me show you, uh, give me a second here to break my thread. And I'm going to show you the difference between the precision and the idle so that you can see. Okay, am I in a good spot here? Okay. Um, I'm good at the long arm, not necessarily as good on camera. Um, okay, so I'm gonna switch this to precision and that means when I'm moving, the needle is moving, okay? So can you see with my hand here? Okay, or not, just kidding, hold on. There we go, forgot to turn it on. When I stop, the machine stops. And I'm also going to turn off the motors of my Pro Stitcher. 
Okay. Are we going to take a quick break here to let Blaine talk about things and I'll come demo the rest of, of everything? Okay, Blaine's going to tell you about the specials, about a little bit more about the machine, and I'll come back and demo the rest. Thanks, Carrie. Hey, guys, I got to tell you about this machine. So if you've ever been to any of the trade shows that we go to with this King Quilter, you know that we're so proud of this thing. And it is, like I told you, it is a, one of the best quilting machines out there. It has that 18-inch arm and on it, and we've got a great, great price on it. David, if we could put that overlay up there, I want to show, get everybody could see that. This thing, guys, is $69.99. It's $1,000 off for the Elite model. And again, I got to show you, tell you, this is, you know, it's got the stitch precision mode. It has the stitch cruise mode. It has four to 18 stitches per inch. Uh, this thing has just got everything you want. It's got the upgraded LED lights. It also has the adjustable handles. And that's what's awesome about this thing. The Elite version comes with the rear handles as well with that screen on the back back there. So you can do the pantograms or they'll use the groovy boards. So it's awesome. We're going to give you your choice of a 10 foot or 12 foot frame and you're getting all the leaders, cloth leaders come with it and everything. So this is a great, great package and you can upgrade it if you want to. We have three robotic systems that actually work for this. We have the, uh, uh, the as she was talking about the pro stitcher, you see the pro stitcher that she has. She has that pro stitcher right there. You have the QBot that we, QBot actually has one that'll fit right on it and work it. And then we also have the Butler. So it has three robotic systems and different price points if you want to put robotics on it. So we're trying to have, uh, you know, to meet everybody's needs. This is a fantastic machine. I can't say enough about it. And if you, you know, if the Elite's not in your price point, then we have the standard version. And the standard version, it doesn't have the, you know, the adjustable handles as much. You don't get that big, nice LED light bar on it, but you still get lights and you don't get the rear handles. But we're still going to give you your choice of frame size, either 10 foot or 12 foot frame with that standard model. And that price is $54.99 all day long. So a great price on the standard, or you can upgrade to the Elite for $69.99. Hey guys, we have financing available. You get 60 month, 0% interest, make those low monthly payments. And we got free shipping, going to ship it right to your door. They're in stock, ready to ship today. And uh, so if you want one of these, give us a call at 1-800-401-8151. All of our sales staff are extremely knowledgeable with this product and they know quilting extremely well. And if you want to get the your robotic system, they're going to help get you the best robotic system too, if you're wanting to put robotics on it. So Hey, two great machines, uh, two great price points. Show special today. They're both a thousand dollars off. And uh, man, guys, this is like uh, Houston. This is like Houston prices we had. So if you're ever if you're at the Houston Quilt Festival back a couple years ago when we were there, uh, we had this is the pricing we had there. So great, great pricing, great special. And uh, so let's go back to Carrie and let her show us a few more things about that machine, and and so y'all can see all about it. Okay. Okay, welcome back, you guys. Thanks, Blaine, for all that great information. Um, you got some amazing deals going right now, um, which is fabulous. Okay, I'm going to get back to start where I stopped before, um, and I'm going to go over again the precision mode. So, precision again is when I move the sew head, the needle is going to move. When I stop the sew head, the needle is going to stop. Okay, so. Um, I'm going to get keep my left arm out of the way this time so you guys can see a little bit better. So I've turned it on. Or have I turned? Hold on. Sorry. There we go. It's the pro stitcher. I turned that back on again. Okay. So you can see I'm moving and when I stop, it stops. Okay. I got to stop and think, okay, where do I want to go next? Okay, at least my needle's not doing anything, which is really great. So I'm going to go down and back up again. Excuse my one-handed quilting here. Anyway, um, if I use my second hand, it moves super, super smoothly, which is really nice. You get all your swirls and everything else in there. Okay, now I'm going to show you um, the difference with the idle mode. So with idle, again, when you're stitching, the needle moves. When you stop moving the sew head, the needle continues to move. It just jogs in place, okay? So let's take a look at that. 
I've stopped and it's still going to stitch like that. So in some ways, if you put the speed up really high, which that's not really high, but you can see. So when you're stitching, it's almost like, um, it's almost like you have like a, a little extra built in, little extra built in, um, I can't think of the word, where you're trying to keep up with the speed that is going there. So a little extra built in stability. I like to keep my speed really low because I use it for a different purpose. I use mine a lot, like I said, if I'm doing, let's say I'm gonna do feathers or let's just do a leaf and I'm gonna come to a point right here. I want the needle to continue to take a few extra little stitches. And the reason for that is that I get my points really, really nice and sharp. Um, I just find that it works really well on idle mode because it takes that extra stitch or two right at the point. Now you don't want to stand there forever and let it keep doing that because you'll get some knots that go on in the back. Um, I use, personally use precision almost entirely. Um, and then let's see, I showed you the basting mode. Manual mode, we'll just do that for the fun of it. I'm gonna move it up a little bit. I have it set at 62% speed. So that means this machine can go 58% faster. Um, I don't know if Blaine mentioned, and I know I didn't, that this um, stitches 2,200 stitches per minute. So it's a pretty darn fast machine. I personally don't ever stitch that fast, um, but I know people who do. So anyway, um, it goes really fast and the stitches go from, um, four stitches per inch to 22 stitches per inch. So you have a wide variety depending on what project you're working on. So manual speed means the machine's just going. It doesn't, it does not care what I'm doing with the sew head, the machine is going. I have it set at 62% and I'm gonna turn it on and here we go. Now, if I stop, I have to turn, press the button, which is nice when you have your buttons right here on the handles. You could just use your thumb to stop right when you stop. Um, manual mode, I love if I'm doing stippling, if I'm doing really fine micro work, um, if I'm doing something where I don't have to think at all about what I'm doing and I just want to get across the machine really fast. Um, the Probably this type of... Um, find loops and meander and that sort of thing is probably what I use the manual mode for the most. So here again, you can see where I'm doing smaller work like this. So let me show you the difference with that small with precision. It's a little bit jerkier. It still works fine but it's much easier to use manual. So the thing that's really nice about the machine is that everybody is different and everybody will learn what works for them. I used to stitch on a domestic machine, so manual was the only way I knew how to stitch. And when I had the stitch control, I was like, I'm not gonna use that, I don't like it. Um, well, now I almost always use um, a precision or um, idle type mode. I don't use manual that often anymore. It's a matter of what you're used to and I use it for different applications. So it's nice that you have the variety of different type of stitching and you can decide for yourself what works, which is really nice. Something that I wanted to show you that I love, love, love with the, with the adjustable handles is I do a lot of ruler work. Um, so I don't know if you've ever seen the uh, quilting rulers. You can use any of the quilting rulers or as long as they're quarter inch thick on this machine. Um, and when I'm doing ruler work, I'm hoping I'm not gonna block myself when I do this, but normally, I am like this, okay? I'm right down there in front and this bar gets in my way. So it's really nice that you can just loosen this up. You can move the bar entirely out of the way and then you can do all of your ruler work. Oops, hope you weren't looking at that very closely. <laughs> So it's really nice. And then let's say I decide, okay, I did a little bit of ruler work, a little in the ditch work, and now I wanna do my free motion. I can just go right back over here again. I can lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, right? I can uh, 
put this back down where I want it, and then I can go ahead and use my two bar, my two handles again. The other thing that's nice here, I'll do it on this one because I was told to. You can turn it in this way. I personally stitch with my handles this way because as I mentioned, this for whatever reason absolutely cramps up my thumb. So I stitch like this. This is really nice too. If you put both of them down, you can be really, really close for micro work, which would be your really fine, tight stitching. Um, it gives you a lot more control over the machine because you're right next to the needle and you've got, you've got control over the weight of the machine right there. Um, the lights, I wanted to show you because I had mentioned that before how great the lighting is on this machine. And I'm gonna just turn. So this is with the lights off entirely. This here is with the lighting just under the needle bar. Can you see, does that show up? And that's with all of the lighting. So you can see it's really fantastic lighting, really fantastic. I wish I had had this on my original machine um, that I had because it would have come in handy. Um, and then the other thing is, I think Blaine mentioned there's a couple different computer systems that you can also use um, that you can um, add on to this machine. This one here happens to be the Pro Stitcher, which is one that I am personally very familiar with. Um, and you can, um, everything is programmed right here in front. And so you can, you know, a lot of people buy the machines and they wanna do an edge to edge type design. Um, you can go in here super easy. I'm not going to go too much into this, but just to show you because it's fun and I like it. Um, and I have just a, just a minute, but you can go in, you can pick out your designs. In fact, I'm going to do this and show you this instead. Hold on. I made samples and then dumped them all on the floor. So this here would be an example of doing an edge to edge where I programmed in the design and the robotics take the machine across, do all the stitching, do the designs. It's super precise. Um, the thing that's really fun is that you can also do something like this here where I programmed the computer to do my stripes in the stars. So each one was different. And then I did all free motion everywhere else. So it gives you full range of possibility and flexibility. And I'm getting the I'm done talking sign. So I'm going to sign off for you guys. Thank you again for joining us. Really appreciate it. And I'll talk with you again tomorrow if you want to come back then. Hey, thanks, Carrie. Uh, great, great job. And, uh, you know, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I know you're going to have some more exciting things for us tomorrow. But, hey, guys, I got to tell you again about the King Quilter. If David could put that overlay up there, I'm going to tell you a little bit about this machine. Uh, again, we have $1,000 off for both either the Elite or the Standard model. Uh, you can get that Elite model for $69.99. You can get that Standard model for $54.99. And I got to just tell you a few things about this Elite. As Carrie was telling you, it has 2,200 stitches per minute. It's the M-Class bobbin fit in it. It has a separate bobbin winder, so you can be winding bobbins while you're actually quilting. Uh, so it's a completely separate little bobbin winder. Uh, the front handlebars with the control buttons adjustable up and down. It has the rear handlebars with controls. Uh, it has a quilt alarm, a quilt timer, the stitch counter, uh, the low bobbin estimator, and a low bobbin alarm. So those are really great things. And the warranty on this, guys. Hey, this thing, you know, they have warranties. They have kind of a three different type of warranty. It's a casting, the mechanics, and the electrical. So there's a 10-year casting warranty, a five-year mechanical, and a five-year electrical on this. It has an eight-watt LED power consumption. So this thing uh, doesn't cost you anything to run it. And uh, it comes with a whole accessory kit for it as well. That you, when you get this machine, you're gonna get a little accessory kit with all your little tools and things in it. You can get some extra needles. Uh, so we're gonna try to give you a complete package here. You get your cloth leaders and you're gonna get your choice of that 10 or 12 foot frame on either one. So it's $69.99 on that Elite model with the upgraded handlebars, the bigger screen. It has the rear handlebars with the screen. And then that standard model just has the standard handles, uh, the smaller screen on it. Uh, and you get your 10 and 12 foot frame choice of that. Uh, both of them, $69.99 for the Elite, $54.99 for the standard. And hey, we have them in stock, ready to ship. We have 60 months, 0% interest financing available. Give us a call, because guys, I'm telling you, our guys that's standing by are 
experts when it comes to long arms and they really know the king quilter well. So give them a call at 800-401-8151 and or visit our website at sewingmachinesplus.com. We have a live chat agent standing by as well, can answer your questions and uh, we would love to get you one of these and uh, we can, we'll give you lifetime support on it as well. So a uh, great, great, great machine. Okay, so as I was saying, so you get um, with the um, Elite model, you get the upgraded handles. And oh, yeah. um, one of the things that's nice about that is that these handles actually move. So you, if you like to quilt with your hands up like that, you can do it. What I found when I got my first machine, the handles were, were there was only one position. About 30 minutes in, I started, my hands started cramping so bad and I was thinking, good Lord, I just spent a lot of money on this long arm and I'm not going to be able to use it. So I ended up buying a different type of handle that set the other way. This here, you have the option. You can move them back and forth, up and down this way. They also go up and down this way, which is really nice. Um, I'll show you a little bit later if you're going to do ruler work, why that comes into handy, why it comes in handy. Um, there's also um, extra lighting right here, as I had mentioned. Um, another difference between the Elite and the base model is the base model of the King Quilter has a 4.3 inch um, screen, and this is a 7 inch touch screen, which is nice. One more thing um, is with the Elite model, you get rear handles. So the handles, um, are they go up this way um, you get a screen in the back and what that does is it enables you to work on pantographs so typically if you're going to do a pantograph you're going to put your pattern in the back you're going to use a laser light to trace the pattern so you quilt from the back of the machine not from the front of the machine and in order to do that you've got to have handles if you are interested in the base model you can purchase handles and add them on um, if you get the elite model it comes with it already so those are the, the main differences. Um, both of either, either um, option, um, excuse me, I'm stumbling over my words today. Um, both of the machines have optional ruler base. So if you like to do ruler work, you do need to have a ruler base. That's true of, of any long arm machine. Um, you also have the option for the laser light, um, which is great. Um, and also casters for the machine itself. If you want to be able to roll your frame, um, move it out of the way, whatever, you can put the, the machine on casters. So let me talk to you. Oh, Blaine had also mentioned that there's three different computer systems. This right here is the Pro Stitcher. It's the one that's hooked up right at the moment. It's nice. It sits right here. So if you're using the robotics, you've got all your controls right here at your fingertips, which is where you're standing, which is really nice. So for the King Quilter, um, what is built in, you have three different modes of um, stitching. You have your manual mode, which is where when you turn it on, um, the needle just starts going, whether you're moving the machine or not. That's kind of like with your domestic machine. When you put your foot down on the foot pedal, the machine goes when you take your foot off the foot stops. So let me show you real quickly here. You pull up the bobbin thread so I don't make a big old mess underneath there, but you're going to notice when I turn this on, this is just going to go and I'm going to have to follow it. And I will fix that broken bobbin thread um, down there when I take a little break. Um, the next um, stitch mode, um, the next two that I'm going to talk about are the, uh, the stitch regulated modes. So you have your precision mode. Um, which is basically when you move the machine, the needle is moving. When you stop the machine, the needle stops. And so this is super handy if you need to think about what you're doing, you know, you're working on something, you're gonna stop, have a quick pause, where am I going next? Okay, now I know where I'm gonna go and I'm gonna start moving the, the, sew, the sew head again, the needle will start stitching again. It's also what you use if you're working with rulers because with rulers you start, start and stop a lot. You don't have to press the on and off button all the time, you just stop moving, the needle stops. And then with the um, idle mode, this is where when I move the sew head, the needle moves. And when I stop the sew head, the needle continues to take just a little jog. And that is super handy and I'll demonstrate it later when you're doing something that has points. Perhaps you're gonna do a leaf and you wanna come to the point, you want that needle to take an extra stitch or two so that you don't get any pulling on that thread. Um, you also, on the screen here, um, you can adjust your stitches per inch 
um, right here on the screen, so it's super easy. Um, again, you can go from four stitches per inch to 22. Um, in your manual mode, you can adjust uh, the speed that you want the machine to go. So sometimes if I'm working on some uh, stippling or some really fine micro quilting, I'm gonna have the machine run a little bit faster because I'm gonna move my arms a little bit faster. Um, other times I wanna slow it down a little bit. And so you can just do all that right here. Um, with the upgraded um, Elite screen, the seven inch screen, you also have the option to save two different speeds. So let's say that you know when you do stippling, you wanna pick up the pace a little bit and you wanna save it at 75% speed. You can save the button, um, you do something else, you want it slower. All you have to do is just go here, hit the button, boom, your speed has changed for you. So it's super handy to have some of those things already built in and locked in so that you don't have to remember, what was I just doing? And how do I get back to that right speed? So that's really nice. I also want to show you, um, oh, also on the screen, excuse me, you've got your needle up, your needle down, you've got a start stop. Um, on your handles, you also have a start stop button, you have a needle up down button, and you have um, controls to um, increase the speed or decrease the speed. Um, the lighting on this machine, and this would be with the Elite model, you get this extra lighting on this bar here. I'm gonna just turn this off so you can see it because it's really, really nice lighting. Okay. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so this is with the lighting off right now. You can see it's pretty dark. I'm gonna turn on, sorry, there we go. I'm gonna turn on the lighting that comes right underneath the needle bar. Um, it's nice, you can see exactly what you're doing right here, but you don't see as well when you're moving off to the side. If you're working with white thread on white fabric or blue on blue, black on black or whatever, the extra lighting comes in handy like you wouldn't believe. Um, what happens is if they're not good enough lighting, you can't see where you're going. So let's say you're doing feathers, you start running over your old stitching because you can't quite see it. So the second lighting, this would be the additional lighting, is this one here, and that's with the LED lights underneath. And you can see what a massive difference that makes. It really, really lights up not only the needle area where you're working, but side to side, you probably have a good eight to 10 inches on either side where you have significant lighting and um, you can, it just, it just makes a, it makes a huge difference. Um, the thing that's nice also is sometimes you don't want that much lighting, depending on what's going on in your exterior lighting, what you're working on, you can come right into this light screen here and turn one of them on um, or both of them on, both of them off, one or the other, that sort of thing. It's, it's super easy to get back to, going back to the home screen here. Um, let's see, unfortunately I, I broke my bobbin. Can I just fix that real quick? Does anybody mind if I do that? So the bobbin, is this easy to fix? It's right underneath there. Not exactly sure what was going on, but I'll give you a quick demo. Oh, this reminds me of another feature that I really like about this machine. Um, and this is a perfect example of it is the threading mechanism is all up here in the front. So on a lot of other machines, you've got your thread way in the back and you have to walk around the back of the, of the machine to get the thread started. Here, you've, um, it might be blocked by the, the um, computer screen, but you've got your thread right here and all of your threading goes right down here in the front. So it's really easy to access it when you're standing here without having to move around. And I'm gonna re-thread because I just found out where my problem was. Okay. Nothing like watching somebody thread a machine. No pressure to get this in the needle hole. Well, hey, while uh, Carrie is uh, threading that machine up, I wanted to quickly jump in and kind of tell you just a little bit about how you can actually purchase the King Quilter. And uh, this is the, the King Quilter 2 Elite. And I got to tell you all a little bit of backstory about the, the, about the machine. The King Quilter has been out for quite a few years, but about three and a half years ago, we switched manufacturers. And that's why we named this one the King Quilter 2, because it, is, uh, it was designed and assembled in the USA. And we're so proud of that. 
And that, and we have a great design now. And this thing is actually, I call it bulletproof. It, there's not much that can go wrong with this thing at all. And uh, anyway, yeah, we have a great, great package on it. It is 79, uh, I'm, I'm having trouble seeing the price right now, 69, I'm sorry. We got it on sale for 69.99. It is actually $1,000 off the normal price. It's 69.99, it's normally 79.99. You're gonna get your choice of frame. You can get either the 10 foot or the 12 foot frame with this. And hey, this thing will accept robotics. We have the Pro Stitcher that work, works right on it. We'll also have the Butler system. And it also, the Cubot goes right on it, just like you saw on, uh, you know, David uh, uh, from Lighten Up showing uh, yesterday uh, that Cubot goes right on it. So this one is the Elite model. You can get it, it has the upgraded handles uh, on the adjustable handles, it has the rear handles with the screen so you can do pantograms from the back. And uh, this is a great, great machine. And we also have it in the standard edition as well. And that standard edition, you can get it uh, for, $5,400 uh, with the frame. So two great, great price points on this thing. But we're gonna go right back to Carrie real quick. And I think Carrie is ready to uh, show you a little bit more about that machine. I think she got it all threaded. And uh, let's go back to Carrie and see if she got it all threaded up. I think I got it all threaded up. So here's a little tip for any of you, um, regardless of whether you do long arming or work on your domestic or whatever, if your thread breaks and you can't quite figure out why, start from the beginning, snip the thread at the spool, re-thread the entire thing, take out your bobbin, blah, 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 all of that. Just a reminder, don't sit and frustrate yourself with it. So we'll see how well I did on that. Um, anyway, so now I'm gonna show you um, the difference now with the precision. And that again is when, um, when I move the sew head, the needle is gonna move when I stop the sew head, the needle is going to stop. I'm gonna stop it here and just get my thread out of the way. One of the things that's nice about this is if I'm gonna go really slow, I don't know why I'm set at 14 stitches per inch. So I'm gonna change my stitches to 10, which is where I normally like it. But if I'm moving and I'm kind of working on something and I'm a little slow, the machine maintains that 10 stitches per inch regardless of how fast or slow I go. So you can see how slow I'm going here. That's 10 stitches per inch. And now I'm good to go because I know exactly what I'm doing. And the machine will still maintain that 10 stitches per inch, which is really nice. So that's one of the great things about the precision mode. Um, I'm going to move it over to idle mode now where you'll be able to see where it, I'm not moving, but it is. And this is great for things, like I said, something with a point where you want it to take a little extra jog. and you can do a default needle position. Um, and then the manual mode, I'm do, hang on, I gotta move the handle. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting in the way. Like I said, I'm good with long arming, not good on the camera, so bear with me here. I'm, I'm gonna show you this actually, since he asked me to move the handlebar. I move this one up, so if you do ruler work, which I do a lot of ruler work. And this is one of the features I love about being able to move the bars. Um, in fact, I'm gonna move it completely out of the way like that. When I'm doing ruler work, my hand is right down here and my body is right in front. I'm kind of off to the side for the camera. Um, but this gets this entirely out of the way and I'm not finding myself having to duck under the, under the handles. So you can see with this, I'm using the ruler, it stopped in the down position, I have that option on here. And now I'm gonna bring it into idle mode and I'm gonna do this one-handed um, as I free motion this. So I'm gonna use my, my ruler line as kind of my feather spine. And you can see that the machine is still, still jogging even though I'm not doing anything giving me those really nice points. Now, let's say that I wanna do some precision micro quilting. I can move my handles really close down to the needle bar here. 
which gives me a lot of control. And I'm going to put this on manual and I'm going to pick up the pace just a little bit because I'm going to do some micro stippling. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that you're going to be able, can you see with this in or is it in the way? It's in the way. Okay. Let's pretend that the bar is going to be here because this is how I would normally stitch. I'm going to move it out of the way so you can actually see what I'm doing. But normally if you're working on some micro quilting like that, you've got both of your hands right down here near the needle bar. You've got complete control over the, where the weight of the machine is. And so I'm going to do this one handed and you can see how fast this is going. Well, that's because I'm doing really small, fine quilting. If I were to put this in precision mode and try to do something that fine, it, it works, but it's a little bit clunkier. So what I like about the fact that you have all these different modes on the machine, easy at your fingertips like this, is that different applications call for different type of stitching. So I intermix these a lot, depending on what I'm doing on a quilt. It gives you the option of what you want to do. And different people like different things. When I first started quilting, I was on a domestic machine, so I only use manual mode. The first time I tried a stitch regulation, I didn't like it at all. And I'm like, I'm never going to never gonna quilt like that. Now I use stitch regulation all the time because why wouldn't I want my stitches to always be at 10 stitches per inch or 11 or 9 or whatever I set it at, regardless of how fast or slow I'm stitching. Um, but I do um, find that I use the manual mode when, um, you know, for certain things like this, like micro quilting or something where I know I don't have to stop and think about what I'm doing. I also forgot one other mode. We have a basting stitch too, which is really nice. And you can set it at, let me go backwards here. It goes as low as um, four, two, excuse me, two stitches per inch. So one stitch every half inch. Um, all the way up to one stitch per two inches. Is that right? Two inches, I think. Yeah. Um, and you might ask, why would I want a basting stitch on a long arm? The whole reason I have a long arm is so I don't have to baste. Um, well, I do baste always at the top. I baste my batting down and then I use that basting line as a guide to where I'm going to put my quilt top. Um, if I'm using the robotics, I also base down the quilt, the, the top of my quilt, and I base down the sides of my quilt so that I don't run over them or, or um, turn the fabric on them. Um, another thing, too, is that if you are quilting and um, you have a block and you're not ready to quite get to it because your whole quilt is in red thread, but that block is going to be yellow, you want to come back to it, you can do a basting stitch to hold that block steady finish your quilt, roll it all the way up to the bottom and then roll it back up and it's going to hold it still so you're not going to have puckers and that sort of thing in the back. So a basting stitch on a long arm, on a long arm machine is actually really handy. If you do this as a business, as I do, I have customers who send me their quilts simply so I can base them for them so that they can then machine quilt them themselves on their domestics. So I use that basting stitch a lot. So I'm just going to show you... Um, I've got it set at every half inch. I went over my stitching sheet. You probably can't see that very, very well. But it bases up. It can base at an angle. It doesn't really care what direction you're moving. It's going to take that stitch every half inch. So it is super handy. You want to base your top. Again, because it's the stitch regulation is set at uh, one stitch per half inch. It doesn't matter how fast or slow I go. It's going to maintain that that stitch regularity. And the other thing too, if you're going to baste and roll it back and forth, is it's really easy to take basting stitches out because they're so far apart versus trying to um, undo your 10 stitches per inch or 11 stitches per inch. Okay, so let's hang on. Let me just let me put myself back together here. I'm going to um, break my stitch off here so I can start over again. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, pop it up into the Facebook chat. And um, any of the gals that are working here will answer your questions in that Facebook chat. Um, I just drew a blank. 
so much for all my professionalism, right? This happens to the best of us. So anyway, I think we're about time to wrap it up anyway. So thank you guys again for being here. Fabulous machine. I know they have fantastic deals. Blaine will talk to you a little bit more about that. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks, Carrie. Great, great demonstration. And, uh, you know, we're very proud of that machine and you, you really show it off well. So I know there's some questions and I'm going to try to answer some questions for you if I can. I may have to go back to, to uh, Carrie or, or ask one of our, our chatters <laughs> to help me out here. But I think I know a lot of the answers that you are asking out there. So the first question Andre is putting up for me says, will this work with the Grace Cutie and the uh, Q-Zone hoop frame? It most certainly will. So we do have a price that you can buy the head only uh, for either the standard or the elite model. You can just buy the head and it'll fit right on either one of those frames. Uh, and then the next one says, what is the throat uh, size? It is an 18 inch. This is an 18 inch long arm quilting machine. And then it says, does it let you know when the bobbin's low? This does have a, a low bobbin uh, thread sensor on it. And it also has a, a bobbin estimator. So what that means, if you're kind of doing an edge to edge quilt and you kind of know how, how much your bobbin's running out, you can how many stitches it's going before it runs out, you can set that estimator so it'll warn you before it actually runs out. So that works really well when you're doing automation. So uh, let's see, um, how long does it take to complete a design on a queen with automation? Now that might be a carry uh, question. You may have to ask Carrie on that one because I'm not real sure about a queen uh, frame and, and with automation. I, I'm sure it's gonna depend on the, the density of the design and all that, but let's, if Carrie is still available, let's go back to Carrie and just ask her that question. Uh, Carrie, they're wanting to know, you know, on if they're doing a, uh, uh, a queen quilt with automation, how long do you, would you estimate it would do, take to get it something like that done? You're right in your answer, Blaine, is that it's completely dependent on the density of the quilt design that you're using. If you're doing something really simple, like big open loops, um, it's gonna be, I, I, I actually can't even tell you because I'm bad at estimating time, but maybe it would take you two hours to do something like that. If you're gonna do something that's much um, denser quilting, more intricate quilting, quilting that comes to a lot of starts and stops because there's points and it's changing directions, it could take you, you know, six, seven hours to do to do a quilt like that. So it, it's really, really dependent. I know for when I work with customers, they tend to choose the simpler designs. So I'd say a couple hours um, time, um, we get a, a queen size, three to four hours, something like that to get a queen size quilt done. Okay. All right, great, great uh, answer, Carrie. So we're gonna continue. I think we've got some more. It says, uh, does the machi machine require Windows operating system? It does not. This machine does not con you know, require any kind of outside computer or anything. It's all built into that little tablet that's attached to the, the, the machine. Now, if you add all, uh, you know, robotics to it, and uh, we have three robotics a system, you will have to have the ro a tablet you know, to run some of those. Now, like the Pro Stitcher, it comes with its own tablet, but like the QBot, you have to purchase your own tablet, or if you have one that you can put on, on there, that's an Android based tablet. And then the uh, Butler is the same way. The Butler has to have a, requires a tablet. But other than that, uh, you have to have no outside computer or no Windows operating systems. So uh, it says, do you have to hold the handles? I'm not real sure exactly what they're asking about that. Now, if you're doing free motion, like you saw Carrie doing, you will have to hold the handles and that's how you're gonna drive the machine. If you go fully automation with robotic systems, you, you don't have to do anything. You can basically set the machine up and once you get it set and hit start, you can walk away and go do something else and it'll sit there and, and run itself for you. So that's the great thing about automation. You can be over doing some piecing or cutting and doing things while it's, it's doing edge to edge stitching. And then it says, how many feet are included? Um, I think it's got one, and, but I think there's other feet available that you can get. I think there's five or six. Um, there's seven, okay, so there's seven feet that you could, that are addition to it that you can get, but it comes with the one in the box. And then it says, are casters included? Casters are not included. They are an option. You can buy casters to put on it if you wanted to move it around. And then it says, do you have to install the motors for the robotics? Uh, yes, you will have to install the robotics on there, but it's extremely easy. Uh, we have videos that show you how to do it, and we have, uh, you know, our staff on, on, on we have is extremely knowledgeable about long arm quilting machines and especially the King Quilter. They know the King Quilter 
like the back of their hand and they can walk you through the step. And, you know, I always brag it to everybody about our service department as well. If you, you know, they, they get on there and FaceTime people sometimes that they're having trouble, you know, setting up their frame or, or things like that. So uh, we got you covered. So you should have any problems. And we've got several videos too that shows you how to do things. So um, anyway, let's get, let's tell you a little bit about how you can buy this thing and, and the pricing on this. Now, the Elite, that's the one that uh, Carrie was demonstrating. This is the King Quilter 2 Elite Long Arm. It's an 18 inch. It comes with that seven inch color touch screen. Uh, it comes with the laser light kit on it. Uh, it comes with your choice of a 10 foot or 12 foot frame. And that price is $69.99, and it's going to be free shipping right to your door. Great, great price. Where else can you get a full 18-inch long arm that has a 10 or 12-foot frame for that kind of price? $69.99, that is our show special, and uh, that is $1,000 off our normal price. Now, if you don't want that Elite with the upgraded handles and the rear handles and all that, you can get a, a standard model that just has the base handlebars, no rear handlebars, and it has the smaller uh, screen on the front. You can get that with a choice of the 10 or 12 foot frame, and that price is $54.99, ship free right to your door. Guys, we have synchrony financing that we're offering for 60 months, 0% interest to make those low monthly payments. And we have everybody standing by right now. You can give us a call at 800-401-8151. And we have sales agents standing by can take your call. Uh, we also have live chat. You can go to our website at sewingmachinesplus.com. We have live chat standing by. We, uh, we have another great presentation. And I uh, got to tell you a little bit about the, the next presentation. And um, it's our presenter is Corey Sheehan. And Corey is actually one of our store managers in our San Marcos, uh, California location. And, uh, you know, Corey is going to be demonstrating the King Quilter this morning. And this is our own brand long arm. We're super, super excited to have this long arm machine. And uh, we actually, and to kind of give you a little backstory on the King Quilter, it came out about six or seven years ago. And uh, we had a, a company that was manufacturing for us. And uh, so about three and a half years ago, we decided to change manufacturers. And uh, we feel like that we have a far superior product now and a lot better product. So that we made that change, we're proud to say it's designed and engineered and assembled here in the United States. And uh, so we're super excited about that. We're super excited about our machine. And the great thing about the King Quilter, we have two versions of it. You can get a standard version or the elite version. We're going to talk all about the elite version this morning. And we also have three different robotic systems that will fit right on this thing. We have the QBot that will fit right on it. We have the butler system that'll fit on it. And then we also have the pro stitcher system that'll fit right on this thing and make it work. So uh, we have a very, it's very customizable uh, for you. It comes in your choice of a 10 or 12 foot frame. And if that frame is too big, we do have some other options for you for it. I think yesterday I, I told you that it would fit on the grace frames. It will not fit on the grace frame. I, I found out, I clarified that, but we do have some smaller frame options for you, but you'll have to call in to find those options and they can help you out in the call center. But anyway, Corey, you know, he's a San Diego native. Uh, you know, he's been in sewing and the quilting industry for about eight years. And, uh, you know, Corey uh, first started uh, working. He actually worked for 10 Lizzie company and actually went to trade shows all over the nation. A lot of people that go to these trade shows probably know Corey because they've ran into him at a lot of these, you know, quilting shows across the nation. Uh, but we're so happy to have him working for Sewing Machines Plus now. We're so happy to have him as our store manager at San Marcos. So y'all please welcome to the show, Corey Sheehan. Thank you, Blaine. And I'm really happy to be here too. And hello to everybody out there. Um, again, my name is Corey and I am showing you this amazing machine today. Um, it's the King Quilter 2 Elite model. And Blaine said there is another model, but this one is by far my favorite one and that's because it comes with everything you could possibly need um, with a long arm um, and i guess i can go over that first really quick i know we were showing some other long arms today and so there might be some familiar things that you know you've seen that are optional but actually come with this one um, so for starters um, what makes this a big difference from the standard model is that it actually comes with two separate lighting systems. So this handlebar hood right here is actually a full strip of LED lights that if you can, you can see it, 
Does it look good here? I mean, the lighting on this is amazing. Um, it comes with also a free light strip that you can add underneath the base here. Um, but honestly, the lighting just alone, what comes with the machine, you know, built onto it is perfect for me. I don't need any more. Um, the handlebars on this are fully adjustable. So you can have your handlebars in a fully upright position at 90 degrees. You can bring them down. Um, this is a micro handle bar um, position. So you can do all of your micro stippling. Um, really, whatever you want, whatever position is comfortable, you can put this machine in, which I think that is just fantastic. Um, the machine also comes with a rear handlebar set for doing pantographs. Um, most machines, that is almost a $1,000 option. Um, but with the King Quilter, um, we have a really affordable add-on for the standard model, or you buy the King Quilter Elite, and it's going to come with those rear handlebars. Um, and, and that's what everyone always asks, you know, what does this machine come with? What do I need to add on to it? This model, you don't need to add anything. Um, and really quick, I'll go over some of the freebies that come with it that aren't the machine and the frame. Um, the ruler base table comes with this model. Uh, it comes with a glide foot, a ruler foot, extra rulers for you to test out to get started with, and the ruler base. Um, again, that is so many great things with, I'm, I don't know if Blaine went over the pricing on this. I'm sure he's going to, but a fantastic deal, um, to get everything you need to get started with doing free motion quilting. Um, and also, so we're going to look at the screen now, not only what comes with the machine, but what's built into it. As far as the screen goes, it's a seven inch color touch screen. Um, so you don't need to toggle through any, you know, handlebar buttons or anything to get to your different stitches or to control the lighting. Um, really simple stitch options too. The P right here, that's your precision stitch and it's going to be what people use almost 100% of the time. And it just means that the machine's stitch regulated. And you can set it for as low as four stitches per inch. So that gives you literally four stitches in one inch length all the way up to 18 stitches. So you have a really wide stitch variety you can pick from. It also has a constant stitch mode, which I use for fill work and other things um, where I want the machine. I get a little more control, but the stitch length isn't consistent. So you have to, you know, you have to be practiced when you're using that mode, but this machine has it. And it also has an idle stitch which is a blend between precision and stitch regulated mode. And it also has a basting mode. So whenever you're basting those edges down or basting down your batting and your top to get started, um, you've got a based option. Um, I believe it is all the way up to, so half inch all the way to a four inch based option. So it's really, really easy to use. This is your main screen to go through when you're actually running the machine. The lighting system, it comes with a ring light and the hood light up here. But the lighting system, you can choose to turn one on and leave one off or leave them both on. Um, both of them together really gets rid of, though, any type of you know, shadow that the machine or, you know, your needle can, can add to your quilt. So I always run it with both lights on, um, on the screen as well. You do have a bobbin timer, a quilt timer. Um, and you can even set a timer for an alarm on the machine to go off. Um, there's not much else you can ask for built into a screen on a long arm quilting machine. So again, this is why this is my go-to when somebody comes in and just, just looking to start long arm quilting, um, this package gives them everything. So, oh, sorry. And <laughs> um, so I know Blaine wanted me to do some demoing um, today. And so maybe we'll start that right now. Um, I like to I like to show people how easy it is to use these machines. 
and to actually have a really cool design, even if you're not trained, um, different techniques to echo your design and fill it in to make it look more professional. Um, let me let me show you something real quick. And I always set my stitch length to 10, um, 10 to 12. That's what I find, you know, looks really nice on a quilt, but everyone, everyone is different. So I'm going to start with just pulling up the bobbin thread by cycling the needle down and up. And on this machine, again, it's fully stitch regulated. So when I hit the power button, the machine will not stitch. It'll only stitch when I move the machine. So I'm going to hit the power button now. All right. And I can let go of the button and the machine is turned on. And I'm just going to make my stems. And I'm going to have to actually remove one hand so that you guys can really see this. I'm going to do it one-handed. So be be forgiving. I'm going to I'm going to try my best here. And again, this is all in stitch regulated mode. And then once I get this last stem done, I'm going to go into a constant stitch and I'm going to fill in the gaps that don't look perfect. All right, so there is just a basic feather from a extremely untrained person. And there are a lot of flaws within this design right here. I'm gonna show you how I really make it pop by adding the inner stems. And that I'm gonna take it into a constant stitch mode. 
and I'm going to put my speed at about 55%, and I'm just going to add all the stems to each one of these feathers to really make it stick out. All right. See how that makes it look so much better. Um, I, I found just putting something on the inside like this, you know, to kind of fill it in, makes it, you know, pop out to you, makes your design look a lot better. And with any design, you can always do the last thing I'm about to do to it, which is simply just echo whatever you've already created. Maybe it doesn't look perfect. You know, you don't have a robotic system and you haven't been doing free motion for a long time, but just echoing your design um, will give it just another dimension and, and make it look that much more impressive. So I'm gonna put it back to stitch regulated mode and I'm gonna simply just echo around the outside of my feather and we'll see how it looks. There we go, guys. Blaine, how's that look? Hey, man, it looks uh, looks pretty good, Corey. You know, um, you probably need some lessons. I, I, I just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. No, uh, for being untrained, uh, as you claim, <laughs> you know, it's pretty good. I, you know, and I know all y'all are out there probably looking and going, you're blown away by by Corey's feathers because I know I am. But, you know, Corey, he's worked so many quilt shows through the years and done so many demonstrations. He's just, you know, when he's practice, 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 and he's got where he's really a good quilter. And that's what's amazing. So that just shows you anybody out there, just practice and you can get that good. Nobody's ever trained Corey. He's never had a lesson. He just started playing around on uh, quilting long arms and, and look what's happened. He can, he's just awesome at it. So, and Hey, you know, somebody out there, if y'all, if y'all want to hire Corey for private lessons, you know, we, we might negotiate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. But anyway, hey, I want to show everybody how you can get this fantastic machine. And uh, so, David, I think if you can put that overlay up there. Guys, we have a great, great, great package for you right now. Uh, this thing is $1,000 off. It's $69.99 for the King Quilter Elite uh, you know, 18 inch throat. This thing is fantastic. And uh, we have a 0% interest financing available. If anybody needs some help uh, getting uh, those payments down per month, we have that available. Give us a call at 800-401-8151. And guys, 
Our staff is extremely knowledgeable of this product. Uh, our, we sell more long arms than anybody in the country uh, by far. Uh, everybody we have working for us is pretty well versed on long arms and, and frames. And our staff is especially versed on this product. It does take robotics. You can actually put robotics on this thing. Uh, there's three different robotic systems that'll actually work on the King Quilter. The Pro Stitcher works on it uh, extremely well. The uh, uh, Qbot uh, from Lighten Up works on it. And you saw David on the show this week uh, from Lighten Up doing uh, demonstrations with the Qbot. The Qbot works on it fantastic on this. And then we also have the Butler system. The Butler robotic system works on this. So we have three robotic systems that you can choose from. So it just depends on your price point and we, they can customize it for you. So give our staff a call. They can help you out and get you the right system for you. And uh, we also have the standard version that you can get. The standard version is $54.99 and it's just a, you know, the machine with your choice of 10 or 12 foot frame. And it comes with the, the standard handlebars in the front, the smaller display screen, and it doesn't have the rear handlebars in the back. But the Elite, you're getting the adjustable handlebars in the front, that really good LED lighting package. You're getting the, the, the bigger seven inch screen on the front. You're getting the handlebars and the 4.3 uh, inch screen in the back. So you can do pantographs. So the, and you get your ten, the uh, choice of 10 or 12 foot frame with this. And so Corey, if you can, I want to maybe ask you some questions uh, on this machine. I know you're pretty, pretty well versed on the King Quilter. So, uh, you know, a lot of people want to know, uh, does the frame have four bars on it? Yeah, so that's what I actually missed um, when I did my introduction to it. The machine comes with the four top bars, which is your take-up system, and then your two front bars that you load your back and your top to. Um, but it also comes with a batting bar underneath. Um, so there is another bar down below that you can either A, store your batting on, um, or you can simply, what I use it for is when I have a big quilt on there and my batting is, you know, bunched up on the floor, I will push the batting over that bar. Um, and it just helps, you know, keep that out of the way and out of, from me stepping on it. So it does come with a full bar set. You do not have to add a bar to this machine, to this frame. Okay, Corey. And the, another question we got coming in, um, can you or put casters on it? Yes, actually the one we have in here right now has casters on it. Um, when you buy this one, you are going to need six casters for the 10 foot frame. Um, and I believe eight casters for the 12 foot frame. And yes, you can put them on it, but those are an option. Okay, great, great, great. Now I know you and Ava, we've set this thing up many times at, at quilt shows. And one of our question was, you know, how hard is it to set up? I'd say setting things up for the first time, you know, always is going to have its challenges. Um, but the instructions are really easy to follow on this. Um, the frame itself, um, the back table um, is really easy to put together. And all the bars on this frame actually snap clip together. You don't have to screw them in. Everything on the, on the bars, all five bars just snap together. So... It is not too bad, but I would give yourself, you know, a day to get it to get it set up properly, you know, and how you want it. Um, sometimes people put them together a little too tall, so be mindful. That's what I would say when you are setting it up um, at what height you're going to put it at um, before you put the machine on. Okay, perfect. And uh, so, also want to ask you, uh, you know, the size you're using right now. What size is the frame that you're you're using right now? So right now this is a 10 foot. Um, and the cool thing with this frame is if you don't have 10 feet of space, um, you can buy the 10 foot frame and actually set it up only at eight feet um, and eliminate the two foot middle extension that comes with it. Oh, and fantastic. So uh, one of the other things I wanted to ask you, does it come with the cloth leaders and it does it come with side clamps? Correct. It's gonna come with all the clamps you need on the side. Um, and the cloth leaders for your take up and your top and bottom bar. So everything you need. And then uh, they're wanting to know if it fits on any other frames. And I think it does. It does fit on some smaller frames, but you'll have to call our call center and they can, they can help you out. They, they're real knowledgeable about what other frames that it offers. But we, you know, right now we only have 
that we sell is the King Quilter frame. Uh, and you can get that in a 10 or 12 foot frame. However, Corey just you know told you if you wanted to buy the 10 foot frame, you don't have to put that two foot extension in. So you basically can make it an eight foot. So that, that's good to know. Uh, Corey, on the, uh, so does it have a bobbin winder on it? The bobbin winder is not built into the machine, um, which I actually like a lot. It is a external bobbin winder, um, very similar to what you'd see as an external winder for, you know, just your regular home domestic machine. Um, but this one winds the M class bobbins that are used in all the long arms we sell. Okay. So. And again, I want to remind everybody the pricing on this and, and show you what the pricing is on it. Again, guys, this is a thousand dollars off. This is our show price. This was actually our Houston Quilt Festival pricing two years ago. So what a great, great price this is. It's $69.99 for that elite model. You're going to get your choice of 10 or 12 foot frame with it. it uh, Corey said it comes with all the bungees and the side clamps. It comes with your cloth leaders. Uh, you're going to get those uh, adjustable handlebars bars on the front with that extended LED lighting bar that uh, really lights this thing up. It's going to have the bigger screen, the seven inch uh, touch screen on it. And it also comes with those rear handlebars with that 4.3 uh, screen on the back so you can do uh, quilting from the back with uh, pantograms and groovy boards. So it's really, really a great, great uh, package we have set for you. And then the, we do have casters for it. Though, oh, those are options. And uh, Corey, one of the things I wanted to ask you, do you know what all accessories are actually included? Um, as far as the accessories go, um, we're talking attachments just accessories or what comes extra when you buy it gotcha so you're gonna have your bobbin winder you're gonna have um, oil extra bobbins a pack of needles um, all of the attachment accessories that i was talking about earlier the ruler base um, the extra feet attachments the rulers the extra lighting system um, again the side clamps um, which are very necessary um, also, the cloth leaders, the frame, the rear handlebars. So everything you need um, is going to come with this. Did I miss anything? I don't think you did. I think that was a pretty, pretty uh, thorough uh, thing. I know that you know everybody always wonders if it, you know it that's most certainly comes with the manual uh, to set it up. It comes with uh, you know all your Allen wrenches and screwdrivers and things uh, to help you there. So. Hey, Corey, uh, you know, great, great demonstration. Now, what else can you do besides just those feathers? Because I know that, you know, we've always uh, at, at trade shows, I've always announced it, we're going to do feather wars and Corey always wins the feather wars. <laughs> but uh, could you show some other other stitches and maybe even like show how you can do basting stitches and things on this? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, here, I'll show you a couple of the continuous free motion stitches that um you know i show a lot of customers how to how to do them you know just to get started with something and the biggest thing with edge to edge quilting um which again i was doing feathers so this does not apply um but it's just creating a, a design that is continuous and the lines don't really overlap each other um or if they do they do it consistently so i'll start with just a basic stipple and this is something that everybody can learn from day one. So again, all you would do with this type of design is make sure you do it from left to right, all the way down your quilt, and just make sure the lines don't overlap and it'll look amazing every time. Um, the biggest thing with any of these designs is just to keep doing them until the quilt is finished. And I've never seen a quilt look bad as long as it's finished. So um, that's a stipple. And then I've got a fun little heart one I like to, to show people, um, show how easy it is. Again, it's just a constant um, edge to edge design. And these are just connecting hearts.
And again, any of these designs, you can always add some type of echo to them um, to make them pop. And so with this heart, you can always have an extra row where all it is is an echo in between each row you create. And so this can be in between your heart row and do another echo above it. Um, I'm trying to think of what another fun little design is you can do inside. Maybe some type of block design. And so I always do these flowers to people and show them how you can start with a shape and then just build from the inside of the shape out. Let me see, where did my scissors go? I think I'm getting hung up back there. It's not pretty, but again, I can go back just like I did with my feathers and I can do echoing and some fill work and even trace back over these lines um, two or three times again to make it really pop out um, almost like thread art and make this design look great um, so maybe I'll do that on a break and Kyle can come back and show you what I've turned this design that doesn't look perfect into so um, well, hey out Corey wow what a great demonstration and uh Again, I want to remind everybody how you can get that King Quilter. This thing, uh, you know, Corey did a great job with that. And y'all can see, you know, he is self-taught. And that just shows you that anybody can do this, uh, especially when you have a great machine like our King Quilter. We're super proud of this machine. And we have, we support this machine 100%. If you have any kind of issues at all trying to set it up, you can give us a call. We can help you with a setup. I mean, our, our service techs even do FaceTime on their cell phones to help people set things up. So our uh, staff is extremely knowledgeable, but this machine is $69.99, guys. Uh, you're getting your choice of the 10 or 12 foot frame. This is the Elite model. It has the adjustable handlebars. It has that larger seven inch touch screen on the front. It has the handlebars in the back with the 4.3 uh, screen on the back. So you can do pantographs and, and, gr and use groovy boards and things. Uh, it comes with that choice of 10 or 12 foot frame. You're getting the cloth leaders. You're getting your bungee clamps with it. A big accessory package and a great, great uh, machines. I can't say enough about it. We also have the standard version available. You can talk to them at the call center about that. It is $54.99 and it comes with the 10 or 12 foot frame, but it has the small 4.3 uh, screen on the front, uh, the, the standard handlebars and it, you're losing that LED package on it. And then you're gonna be losing the real ha handlebars. So uh, the Elite's the way to go for the price. A thousand dollars cheaper we have it than normal. And this is our you know, Houston Quilt Festival pricing two years ago that we have on this. So it is a great, great package. Uh, give us a call at 800-401-8151 or visit our website at sewingmachinesplus.com. And uh, we have live chat agents standing by and our sales staff on the phones, our phone sales people are all standing by as well. If you can't get through, let's just so happen, as I know this has been happening uh, some during the week, if you can't get through, Kyle is going to be putting up over in that chat, he's going to be putting that Google uh, link uh, for that uh, Google Sheets. And all you have to do is go up there and put your, your name, your phone number, and what product you're inquiring about. And that is updated real time in our call center. 
and uh, they'll, they'll give you a call. As soon as they get freed up, they'll give you a call either today. If they don't get you today, they'll give you Monday morning. But what I'm doing is if you are on that call sheet and you haven't got to make your order or got through, or even if you're just thinking about it, you want to think about it, I'm going to give you all the way till the next Friday, the end of, of next week, to go ahead and make that purchase and get those show prices. So, But you have to be on that Google sheet to be able to do it. That's the way we're going to do it. So uh, I think the, Kyle just put that. Uh, link back up and uh, y'all can go fill that out if you can't get through or you're not ready to buy today, fill it out. Uh, but if you're ready to get this purchase today, go ahead and give us a call. Purchase your new machine today by visiting sewingmachinesplus.com or stop by one of our retail locations.